People literally come up to me every single day and they say, but how do you know we're in a simulation? I'll tell you. Cars and buses. You're telling me that a bus that can seat two people and two people have an aisle running down the middle and a stairwell going up the top fits in the same lane as my tiny car that I can touch the other side of the door if I wanted to? So while a school bus is bigger than your typical car, it also fits in the lane because the width of the lane is larger than the width of both the school bus and the width of a car. Let me show you. Okay, here's a car in a lane. Lanes in the United States are 12 feet across. Your typical car length is anywhere from six to six and a half feet across. And here's a picture of a school bus in a lane. It takes up more of the lane because it's wider than the car is, but still smaller than the width of the lane. Typical width of a school bus, about eight and a half to nine feet. The interiors of school buses are all about seating. So the edges here are optimized for seating that sit above the wheels. Uh, whereas in cars, it's to control your window, cup holders, stuff like that. Hope that helps.